Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am going to be doing the booktuber shoutouts tag. This tag was originally created by Trina from Between Chapters, and she tagged me in it because every person that she mentions in the in the tag is like a person that she tags. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. Instead of actually tagging people at the end of this, I'm just going to say that the people that I mention in this tag are the people that I tag to do it. Basically, instead of a book tag, this is a booktuber shout out tag, like the title entails. There's 15 questions and all of them are like, um, name a super friendly booktuber or name this person or name a channel. It's basically to give out some booktube love so that we can talk about the booktubers that we watch and it's not necessarily all the bigger booktubers, it's some of the smaller booktubers too that are just starting and they like need a little shout out. And I thought this was a really, really great idea. And Trina, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, um, thank you very much for tagging me. It made me all blushy and smiley and it just made me feel really, really nice. So that's what I'm hoping that this tag brings for other people is just to make them feel good and make them feel nice. So thank you for making this tag because I absolutely love it. And if you guys haven't seen my video from the other day, <laughs> I, I, I tried filming this video. It didn't happen though because I realized that I uh, was four followers away from, or four subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers and I kind of had a meltdown. <laughs> and it still, it still hasn't clicked that there's 2,000 plus of you following me now or subscribed to me. But it, 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 it huh. <laughs> My face is going red. First question is, who was the first booktuber you discovered? I think, I'm not entirely sure. It's either Kat or Christine. And, but I'm pretty sure it's Kat because the original video that I saw of her was her with green hair and her bangs. And it was her like June wrap up from 2013 or 2014, one of the two. Whenever she had her green hair in June, I think it was June. Don't hold me to dates or, or the video. I will probably end up finding it and linking it down below. But she was the first one that I saw and then I was like, I realized that there was this whole community that talked about books all the time and I was like, hooked. I started watching everybody, but I'm pretty sure she was the one that kind of like opened the booktube doors for me. And then lo and behold, like maybe two years later, I actually started my own channel. So Kat, if you're watching this, hi, first of all. But if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you very much for showing me what booktube is. Thank you for showing me probably my favorite place on YouTube and like the thing that I really, really love doing. Question number two is who is the most recent booktuber you followed, subscribed to? The most recent booktuber that I subscribed to, I actually just subscribed to because I was trying to find the other subscribed person that I subscribed to, but it didn't happen. So the new person that I just subscribed to is Little Red Reader. And I've heard a lot about her through like Emma Reads and um, the, 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 the other person that I had subscribed to. So yes, she is the last sub person I subscribed to because um, I had heard about her through other people and she's a booktube channel. And so yes, I, fo I found her and followed her, subscribed to her. Number three is, did any booktubers inspire you to start your own channel? Kat, because she was the first person I saw. Ariel Bissette was one of the ones that like all of her talking videos where she talked about like the, the like the library and all of her discussion videos. There we go. That's the word I was trying to look for a while ago. Somebody whom I can't remember, but there was somebody who made a video that I really wanted to do. It was um oh, Joel. Joel made that the color rainbow challenge spine thing. That tag that went around a while ago. He did that and then I wanted to do that tag, but I never actually did that tag, but it was kind of what made me get into booktubing. So, well, start my channel anyways. <laughs> Number four is name a booktuber or booktubers that has been with you since the beginning of your channel, earliest subscribers. I think the earliest subscribers that I actually talked to were probably Mads and Gwen which are the two lovely ladies that I do the Novel Bunch read-along group thing on Good to Goodreads with. There are probably others 
but I don't really know them. But those are the two that I remember always being there, even when I was like at 100 subscribers. Or like, not even 100 subscribers for Gwen, I think. Number five is name a book to where you followed since their beginning. Gwen, I, so I'll say the, for the last question I tagged Mads, and then for this question I definitely tagged Gwen, because I remember when she had like 27 followers, subscribers, and now she's like up in the hundreds, and I'm so proud of her, but I, like me and her have been like there since each other's beginning, and it just feels really, really cool to be able to like, grow like that with somebody. I love you Gwen! Number six, I can't hold up six fingers anymore because my phone's in my hand, but number six is a booktuber whose creativity you love. Free May's creativity on her channel with the Why I Read series that she does, and she always does really, really good discussion videos, um, and she always puts a lot of like creativity and thought into those. A lot of what she says, it like, it sticks with you, and it's really, really, especially the Why I Read series. That was really creative. Um, and then the people who started like the my reading routine and then it was like almost like a beauty guru video, if that makes sense, when people did those. And then uh, I think it was YA book blogger Caitlin who did that and like she had her tea and she was like all fancy like. I like videos like those and booktubers that do those kinds of videos. I wish I could do those kinds of videos. I don't have that talent yet. Hopefully I will develop that talent. <laughs> Number seven is a booktuber whose positivity you love. I really love Sasha from a book Utopia's positivity. She's always so bright and so happy and so positive through her videos. And Ben, he's always super energetic. Um, Benjamin of Tomes. Watch his videos all the time, but he's always super peppy. And well, if I'm like feeling really like down or something, I just go watch one of his videos and he's always like, so energetic and so excited and makes me smile like I can't stop smiling while talking about these two and like the fact that they're best friends and right now they're like touring Scotland together is just I it's like I needed that in my life they're so cute I just I love them they just make me so happy watching them number eight is name a booktuber who honestly you admire booktuber I admire and I always have from the very beginning is Whitney and I've really become good friends with her through not only the novel bunch but like just talking to her in general mainly it started with the traveling book she offered to send it to me and that was after we had been talking just a little bit but I feel like she's one of those people where she's she, she just talks to everybody and she becomes friends with everybody that she talks to and she makes you feel like really, really good. And I can always go to her for booktubing advice. Like the other day I was sending my first ARC request email and I went to her and I'm like, can you read this for me? Because I don't know if I'm saying anything right and I need help on it. And she was totally there and I just, I admire the fact that she's been doing booktubing for so long and she's always stayed the same and she's so funny and she's so honest. She's not one of those people who puts on an act, she's genuinely doing it because she wants to and that's what booktube should be but I've always admired her and always looked up to her like booktubing wise and always hoped to become something like her. I just, I love Whitney! <laughs> Number nine is name a booktuber who always makes you laugh. The person that always makes me laugh on booktube, besides Ben, is Christine. Just, she's so random in her videos, and there's always like a theme to her book hauls, and she always tries to make the video light and fun, and it's not like one of those ones where you're just talking to the camera or anything. She's like, she's jumping everywhere, and she's flinging her hair everywhere, and she's like, hello, and she's, she, she puts on her accents, and I just, I don't know, every time I watch her, she makes me laugh. She's also one of the ones that I'll watch when I'm not like feeling very good. I'll just watch her and like I'll, I'll end up smiling like I'm doing now. <laughs> and name a super friendly booktuber, someone who is always leaving you comments or applying to yours. So for this one, I am picking Sarah Ella. She is super, super nice. She reminds me of Belle from the Beauty and the Beast and I said that in a previous video and it's more recently that she's been commenting on my videos and I've been commenting on her videos back and forth but like all the comments are super nice and just really, really friendly and I'm like, 
I don't know. She's so cute. She makes me think of Disney and she's just adorable. Number 11 is name a booktuber who always makes you add books to your TBR. I think I'm going to say Reagan from Peru's Project because she's always hauling newer books that are either like being sent to her or the ones that she hauls. And she hauls very different books than ones that I'm used to reading. And it makes me think outside of my comfort zone for book choices, but I'm always adding books to my TBR because of her. Jessie hauls a lot of books too that make me think like, ooh, I want that, ooh, I want that. And, and he's like, he's popped up a few times, so he'll be tagged somewhere, but um, yeah. I always, I always see the books in his book hauls and his challenges and stuff, and I'm like, ooh, I want to read that. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Ooh, look at that one. And even on Goodreads, they'll be like, they'll be adding books to their TBR, and then I'll read what they're about, and I'm like, oh, that's a good one too. Add that to the TBR. The TBR on my Goodreads and on my shelves are kind of endless right now, and like, I'm never going to get to read all of these books, it feels like. But I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try to do it. 12 is name a booktuber who has similar taste in books to you. I'm gonna say Larissa from A Book World. I don't think many people know about her, but um, me and her have become really good friends through Twitter. Um, and I think she said she started her channel because of me, which like makes me feel really, really good that I could inspire somebody to start a channel. But <laughs> she has really similar taste to me like she really liked the Fifty Shades of Grey series like I did and she also reads a lot of the books that I've read or are going to be reading so she has really similar taste so and she has similar taste in fans I just feel like me and her have a lot that we have similar taste towards so definitely her and number 13 is name a booktuber who has different taste in books but you still love their channel for this I am going to say Samantha from novels and nonsense because she reads a lot of like the King Arthur books and a lot of the classic books and I've never really been into those like there's only been a few classics that I have read and enjoyed and there's some that I have started but have not finished and I, I, I'm not really like old fantasy like King Arthur kind of books if that makes sense but that's the kind of books that I see her talking about a lot on her channel but regardless I still love her channel and there are so many things that she's inspired me to do on my channel. Um, specifically, she was the one that introduced me to my book journal, which I'm not sure where it is right now. But I went and bought that book because I saw her haul it and I thought it was a great idea. So thank you Sam for that because I needed that in my life. It has helped me so much when I was first starting to do reviews. That was the thing that I went to to help me build up what I wanted to say in my reviews. Number 14 is name a booktuber who impresses you with the amount of books they read. I'm gonna say Kat from Little Book Owl because she always seems to read like crazy amounts and even when she has to do like school work she still is able to read so so much. Like her May wrap up was crazy. Like I, I mean my May wrap up was crazy but my June wrap up is not going to be as crazy but her wrap ups are always like they're they're always like piles that don't fit in the screen and I'm like how? I, I just want to be able to do that every single month. And number 15 is give a shout out to someone with less than 500 subscribers, someone with more than 10k subscribers and someone in the middle. So for under 500 I'm going to shout out Summer Reads. For in the middle I'm going to shout out Lauren Ann. And for over 10,000 I am going to shout out Grace from Loving Dem Books. So there's that. All people mentioned should do this tag because I'm tagging you and if you want to do this tag but you haven't been tagged by anybody, by all means do it. It's just to spread the word about booktubers, different booktubers that aren't always mentioned in the tags, that aren't always mentioned in the different videos. It's just spreading the booktube love so just spread it. Just swim in the booktube love and just spread it everywhere. That was awkward. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much to Trina for creating this tag and tagging me. I absolutely love this idea and I think a lot more people should be doing this tag. I've seen it a lot recently, so hopefully we can get it going further. Spreading the love, swimming in that love again, even though it was totally awkward the first time and a lot more awkward the second time. <laughs> so that is it for this video, you guys. I will see you in my next one.